Protesters in Iran are calling for a three-day strike as unrest continues against harsh morality laws. But Iran's morality police could be about to be disbanded. That's the unit that arrested 22-year-old Masa Amini in September, accusing her of not wearing a headscarf properly. She later died while in their custody. The death sparked mass protests against the government. The Attorney General saying that the uh, police, the morality police unit is going to be abolished, is the word that he used. The Interior Ministry hasn't confirmed that yet. Official figures, according to the government, 200 civilians killed during the protests. A human rights group in the U.S. says it's at least 450, with 18,000 citizens detained. Dumb. Iran's Republican and Islamic foundations are constitutionally entrenched, but there are methods of implementing the constitution that can be flexible. Raza Hatami is in Tehran. So on Saturday evening, we had this vague comment by the country's attorney general saying that uh, the morality police have been disband disbanded. But since then, uh, state media are trying to clarify that this hasn't been the case and a decision on the morality police has not been uh, yet made. Uh, we know that uh, a panel comprised of parliamentary committees and judiciary officials are reviewing um, the uh, hijab law and the ways to implement it and uh, uh, are likely to make uh, amendments. We know reformists in Iran have called for annulment of compulsory headscarf, um, but uh, both these bodies, the judiciary and the parliament, are controlled by conservatives. And um, uh, science suggests that uh, they, <clears throat> the political establishment is not going to give up on uh, the compulsory um, hijab law, but uh, ways to implement it might change. We know that all these protests were ignited by the death in, in morality police custody of uh, Mahsa Amini and the way the morality police uh, used to work, that is uh, to set up vans on the streets and uh, temporarily detain women who are deemed uh, dressed unethically, that, that's uh, a cause for, uh, I mean, it, it could provoke more protests and it fuels tension. So probably that uh, will not be the way the morality police would work from now on. But for what exactly happened to the morality police, we have to wait and see for uh, a couple of weeks to have the results of uh, the reviewing by the uh, panel. Rosa, when looking, when looking at this from afar, it almost seems as if the government has reacted to those continuing nationwide demonstrations. The, there should be a consideration about the change of the headscarf law, about the future of the morality police. But apparently the protesters are not completely satisfied. They seem to be pushing for more. Um, yes, in the first days of the protests, the main demand of the protesters were an end to uh, the hijab law and also they had complaints about the morality police. But um, little by little, the demands were radicalized and the protests and, uh, and riots that have engulfed the country have, um, um, have called for an end to political uh, establishment. But. Uh, uh, in the past three months or so, two, uh, two or three months uh, since mid-September that the uh, protests erupted, uh, the morality police are not on the streets and they are not visible. Uh, they have disappeared, but uh, we don't know what will happen next. And more and more women um, uh, just uh, walk around the city without the compulsory uh, hijab. But there are signs that uh, the government isn't giving up, isn't giving up on the hijab law. Um, female celebrities uh, who have posted uh, videos and photos of themselves without hijab have been summoned to court. But um, as I said, well, we have to see what will be the official announcement of hijab law. It will come in. Uh, uh, it is expected to come in a couple of weeks, and we see how. Uh, the results of that would uh, affect the ongoing protests.